What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum walkthrough. Okay, so it is finally time to go to the gym yet again. Yes, sir. But before we do that, we're gonna get some items. We have to get some items, guys, because, uh, yeah, this next gym right here has grass-type Pokemon, and we all know what grass-type Pokemon like to do. They like to spray us with some kind of sprays that either paralyze us, poison us, or even puts us to sleep, you know, that kind of stuff. So... We are going to just uh, prepare ourselves just a little bit because it ain't fair. It really ain't fair. And look at that. Gardena is actually, is actually waiting for us. She's waiting for us right there. He's like, hi, I'm Gardena. This town's gym leader. My last challenger was awfully speedy guy. Actually, his name is Barry. He told me about you. This is now he's a little antsy. He's on crack. He needs Jesus. You need to tell him that. Lady, I've been telling you. I've been telling him that for quite some time. So... Yeah, you're, you're 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 just preaching to the choir right there. So before we go there, we found ourselves a super potion, which is very very needed, and uh, it is finally time, guys. It is time. It's time for the next gym battle. And uh, this guy right here is talking to me about some. Uh, oh yeah, he's talking about the the boy who zipped who threw here, uh, telling me about grass type Pokemon, about their disadvantages to flying type Pokemon, fire type Pokemon, bug type, ice type. Yes, we only got one of those. We got a flying type. Everything else, we are at a disadvantage, which, you know, again, kind of makes me feel like, man, I should be kicking myself just a little bit when it comes to, uh, when it comes to uh, choosing the right Pokemon. But, you guys chose for me. Again, I am not complaining. I am not complaining, not what so bit. But here we go, battling some Pokemon. Here we got a Cherubi, a cherry-looking Pokemon right here. So this is going to be the Starblade show featuring Starblade, kicking some butt, taking some names, eating some cherries while we're at it. As you can see, wing attack. Oh yeah. How about that? Finishes him off right there. That's right. Cherubi feeling it feeling it good. And uh, here we go with a Roselia. Roselia doesn't look that, that strong. So we're gonna be switching it up right here. Let's go with Hydra number four. Mainly because we still got a switch battle right here. We still gotta train him. We want we want that freaking uh, that Gyarados. We want him soon ASAP right now so let's go right ahead and use that star blade yet again because star blades pretty awesome and uh, well look at that Roselia not looking good here's that poison sting hopefully it doesn't poison us please do not poison us critical hit and it poisoned us that asshole why why okay alrighty wing attack for the win look at that Oh yeah, suck it, Roselia, you poisoning ass Pokemon. Alrighty, and uh, Hydra number four, lazy ass Pokemon too. Okay, so uh, good thing we bought some uh, antidotes. So once you defeat the uh, Pokemon trainer right here, that little leaf clock right there will start spinning around, and it will actually, you know, lead you to the next trainer. Eventually, when you defeat every single one of these trainers right here. They will start be, or they will be uh, pointing at Rose or at Gardena herself. So, like I said before, I gotta heal my Pokemon. I has to, you know, my Pokemon. They're awesome, but I cannot leave them, leave them hanging. And I bought a buttload of potions just for this occasion too. And uh, well, look at that. This is fun right here. And uh, here we have another trainer. So. I guess I should be starting with Hydra number four because there's a lot of experience points need to be get, and uh, well, this lady's telling us that we won't win that easily. Well, I beg to differ. Let's see what happens. So here she comes out with the Badoo, and I am coming out with Hydra number four, the tank of the, all the Pokemon right here. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon yet again with Starblade. Please do not paralyze my Pokemon. Please don't do that, because if you do, I will be stabbing a, a motherfucker. And uh, wow, how did I know that? Honestly, guy, I honestly, guys, I completely forgot that this guy did this to me. So let's go with uh, Water Sport, which usually weakens, uh, yeah, it usually weakens a Fire type Pokemon's move. But unfortunately, we don't have Fire type Pokemon. And uh, well, there's that Absorb attack that we all hate. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, so I'm still not moving. This Pokemon will not let me go. Oh my god. 
Come on, Starblade! Do it for all these Starblade bitches out there. And it won't. It won't let me. Because this dumbass Badoo is still paralyzed or is still absorbing the crud out of me. Okay. Here we go. Oh, come on! Jesus, Crimini, how many times do I have to stay paralyzed? So annoyed. So friggin' annoyed. Come on! Let's go, Starblade. Come on! Wing attack. That's right. Badoo. Defeated. How about that? Freaking Badoo, I swear to God. See, this is what I mean with getting yourself a lot of healing items, guys, because this is this is bound to happen. Now, if you have a uh, if you came out with a chimchar, good for you. Good pick. If you have a chimchar and a uh, or if you pick the chimchar, evolved it into a Monferno, and then have a, a Starblade of your own or whatever you a Starly or whatever. Good for you. Better for you. But for me right now, it's a little difficult. It really is. Very difficult, and look at that, Starblade grows to level 21, yes sir, how about that? And Badoo is about to come out, so, here we go with Star, or Hydra number 4, yes, I know, you know what's going on right here guys, but, it's for the experience points, so, what I'm going to do right now, is I'm gonna switch it out with my Hydra, or with my Starblade, yet again. Okay. Alrighty, so Intimidate will take away some of its attack. And yeah, that Stun Spore is not going to work on me since I'm already more paralyzed. What is it going to do? Make me super paralyzed? I would like to see that happen. Alrighty, so there's that Water Sport. And uh, Fire Attack is weakened. So here we go. Wing Attack. And Badoo taken out just like that. Oh yeah! Suck it! Okay, alrighty. And look at that, Aroma Lady Jenna has been defeated. Okay, so... I gotta heal my Pokemon, and like I said always, um... Uh, yeah. The little flower clock will start moving again once you defeat more trainers. Uh, the fountains will actually go down too. Uh, she also mentioned if you want to heal your Pokemon, well this is the best chance to do so. And, uh, I'm not gonna do that because I already got some healing items right here. I don't want to waste any more time. So, there we go. And, uh, okay, so there's nobody right there. I think we got one more trainer before Gardena. So, here we go again. And, <laughs> she's telling me that I can't win because I am so distracted from the aromas from the Pokemon. Maybe. I don't know. That might be true. Here she comes out with a Roselia, and I'm coming out with Hydra number four. Alrighty. So, let's go with Starblade yet again. <laughs> oh, man. Here comes Paralysis. Ten bucks is, is Paralysis, guys. Ten bucks. And, nope, it is a Mega Drain. A super duper Mega Drain right there. And, well, let's see. I'm going to go with a Wing Attack right here. Just going to wing it. Nothing too big. There we go. Roselia defeated. That's right. Hydra number four, kicking ass, and look at that. Hydra number four grows to level 16, that little lazy bastard. And uh, that is how you win that. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, so we defeated this lady right here, and we got one more trainer left, which would have to be the gym leader herself. And look at that clock going all the way up. There we go, it is what? Can't even tell time, guys. Don't, don't laugh at me. 12 o'clock? If you're, if you're, if you're, or three o'clock, or maybe seven o'clock. I don't know. I never passed that in kindergarten. Don't make fun of me, guys. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna heal up my Star Blade right here, and uh, you know what? I might just go with, uh, I might just go with just Star Blade all the way because, yeah. Remember the last time I actually went with the Switch battle? Didn't go so well. So here we go. You kept me waiting, huh? The Eternal Gym, gym Leader Gardena, Grass-type Pokemon Trainer. I was convinced that you you were on your way for me. I had a hunch and a money, something about you. You were cool, all that stuff. Better than your buddy Barry and whatever. So here we go, guys. Gym Leader Gardena. And she's about to go nuts. I mean, look at that. She's looking all like a superhero. Coming out with a Turtwig. And I'm going to come out with a Starblade right here. Look at that. I'm intimidating you. 
just like that. Okay, so let's go right ahead and wing attack right here. Look at that. So easily. Oh, nearly defeats Turtwig. And there's that reflect attack. So any kind of physical attacks now will be cut in half, which will, could be a problem for us. It could prove a problem. So here we go again. Another wing attack. Eat it. Oh, it was super effective, but it didn't take a lot. So there we go again, one more wing attack, hopefully for the win, and no! Turtwig survives yet again, and it is providing a sunny day attack, which will actually power up any kind of grass that moves. And, uh, well, quick attack, for the win, right? Yes, for the win! Eat it, Turtwig. Alrighty, okay. Who's next? I don't know. Bring it. And here... Oh yeah, she's going to be coming out with her Pokemon, Chirum. Now, Chirum right here has a special ability to transform into any kind of uh, weather mode right here. This one right here is sunny day mode, and it actually powers it up just a little bit. Uh, this all this is all depending on the kind of uh, you know weather moves that it has. As you can see, it does have Magical Leaf. Will not miss an attack. Not that super effective, but it does take a nice chunk of our HP right here. And the sunlight it is very, very strong. So we're going to go again with another wing attack right here. And, the, ooh, Cherim, does it survive? It does survive. But before it can be defeated, it, yeah, it's throwing me another uh, leaf seed right here. And, yeah, there we go. The leaf seed is finally kicking in right here. Cherim is not going out without any kind of fights right here. So, and Gardena, oh my god, will not let Cherim die. So here we go. Wing attack, does not do the trick, and, uh, oh crud, another zap. So, Starblades, Starblades going down, and then Chirim's uh, form goes back to its regular form because of the sun going, or fading away, and there we go, defeating Chirim easily, look at that, not so easily, but you know what I mean, guys, and for that, Starblade grows to level 23, or 22, and we got one more Pokemon, and that is Rose Raid, the evolution of uh, Roselia, yes. And this is actually a new addition right here in this generation, and look at that. We get paralyzed right off the bat. Wow. Yeah, thanks a lot, Rose Raid, you slut. So here we go. Rose Raid eats that wing attack, and uh, it has a held item, and it's using a citrus berry right there. Okay, so. There's that zapping again, thanks to Chirum, or yeah, yeah, Chirum, and uh, look at that. She's like, are you something, or are you, you have me cornered? So, here again, Rose Raid comes out with the Magical Leaf attack. Will it, will this do this? And it nearly defeats me, but here we go, wing attack, hopefully for the win. And it does it. That's right, Starblade just defeated everybody right here. No mercy! That's right, and it nearly grows to level 23. That's right. Yes, I am amazing. I am super duper amazing. And yes, I'm really tough. You raise your Pokemon really well. Because of that, I shall give you this. The Fog, or not the Fog Badge, the Forest Badge. What, what the hell am I talking about right there? Look at that. Look at that badge. It's freaking awesome. And it actually allows us to use Cut outside of battles. And any Pokemon above level 30 is our friend now. And here we get... The TM-86, which is a, let's see, it's Grass Knot, and it's a move depending on a Pokemon's weight. So it's going to be a very good uh, very good move for, you know, these, very well for, you know, weird circumstances against heavier Pokemon, like Snorlax, you know, Onix, those kinds of Pokemon. Yeah. Anywho, we defeated Gardena. We're, we're, we're awesome. We got two badges when we should have gotten, like, four by now. And, uh, well, after de defeating Gardena... I guess there's one little thing to do. We're going to go to the Pokemon Center. So stay tuned, guys. Next episode, I'll be back in just a little bit.